Hi friends, my name is Fikri Ismail and I am Microsoft MVP for Developer Technologies. Today I am going to demo you how to get some JSON data into common data services in Power Platform. So we have, I am in like make.powerapps.com inside and then I am going to click data and you click entities. So I have some data already, these are some built-in entities and there are some items I have as well. So what I am going to do is like I am going to click on this get data. Now you have like plenty of data source options to get data from. So I'm going to use JSON, click JSON. So you have to give a file path or URL here. So normally uh, the file should be on your OneDrive for business. You just click browse OneDrive. This will show you all your uh, OneDrive folders, what you have. So I'm going to click, just click JSON. And now I have this albums.json. If you just select this and open. Okay, now let's click next. This will show you a, this power query. Now all the records you have inside your JSON file will be listed here. This will be a query. That's, so we can't do anything with this data. So what we have to do is like we have to convert this into a table. So it will you can do this by clicking this button to table. Click OK. Now you have your records, it will be on one column. So now you have created your power query here. You will see from list source the data. Now you click this icon here. So it will click. This will display all your column headers. The one thing you have to do is like use original column number prefix. You have to remove that else. There will be a, it will be just column one dot title, column one dot genre like that. So you just remove it and click OK. See, excellent. Now you have your data here. They say title, genre, price, all the information is here. Now, only thing you have to do is click next. You have like three options. You can just load this into a new table or you can just use to an existing table. What I'm going to do is like I'm going to just say load into a new table. I'm going to use the table name as uh, my music albums. Now, I'm going to say this is the same name as the display name. This is the table name. Now, it should be like my music albums you can give a description now next step this will be just auto generated it's automatically picked up your unique primary field normally it will be just name so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to use this title as the unique field i'm going to click this drop down click title now title will be the unique name field so this will be used when you create a lookup field to this entity it will be used as a drop down text or maybe a collection text whatever the drop down or whatever the collection you're using it will be just use this uh, title field you, now you have the album art URL. it's a multi-line text no it's, it will be a single text and the artist again is a single text the genre will be a single text and price should be a text right now you have this information here now click next so you can just select one of these to refresh automatically or refresh manually I'm going to select refresh manually just click create this will import the JSON file and create a new entity and then it will populate the data as well now you will see my music album if you just click on it you will get all the populated the default fields from power platform and then the fields you have created you can just filter to custom and then these are the fields you are created and you will see the title as the primary name field so click on data so it will take some time to get the data in so if you refresh it you will see some data after a few minutes or maybe a few seconds now you see your data all the data is important if you want you can just click some here for all fields so then you get all the fields here this is how you get some existing data from a json file to common data services